Hey guys, this is Sarah's Makeup, and I haven't made my results, uh, put my results video yet. I'm actually trying to work on that. Um, yeah, I, I unpacked everybody, and uh, they're set up, except I'm going to be getting a shelf right under the shelf, hopefully soon, because I need to unpack my staple mates, because my minis are going to go in this shelf, this little square right here. Uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to start with the main shelf here, then we're going to go off to that shelf, and then that shelf. So right here is my ruffian. She's really cute. Um, yeah, I've had a new breed for her instead of the thoroughbred, so now she might actually place more, because normally she like never places. So yay! Alright, this is my Smarty Jones. He got me a Nan card. Nan card! Um... As his new breed. My Gigi Valentine as the breed I was trying to show her as. Got me a Nan card. Yay for the Nan cards. He didn't... Um, I'm sorry, this is not a results video. This is my Kinnebic Count. My simple, adorable Morgan. He might end up retiring. I know quite a few models are going to be retiring from my show string. And some of them that are retiring will be sold. But... I do not sell over YouTube. I will only sell at shows or in person. So, my next live show is not till July 27th. And I'll have horses for sale there. This is my John Wayne's Duke. He surprisingly didn't place for me, but eh, it's okay. It's still pretty good. My little unicorn. I missed her full class. And she didn't place in the other thingy. In the fantasy challenge. Alright, this is my JC Penny unicorn. He's very pretty. Then my breast cancer and illusion. This is my adorable little Brookside Pink Magnum. Um Yeah, he's a cute little pony. Then here is my most amazing model, really, I think. Um this is my Bats in the Belfry. He has smudges, of course. He's got smudges there. 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 And a few other, like, there. There. He has quite a few smudges, pretty much. And I show him on this side. And he always, always gets first, second, or third. Mainly first and second. Um, the only time he plays lower than that was at Lone Star Live last year, because last year the judge was really weird. And so first and second places get this really cute little thingy. It's a, he actually got second place in that class. He gets this really adorable little rocking horse thing. I think it's adorable, so it stays like around his neck like this, just because it's cute. And I show him exactly like that, too, on how he's lifted up. Alright, so my uh, Northern Lights is right here. I, uh, like, rearrange shells so I can accommodate horses. Yeah. Alright, this is my Grey Andalusion. Grey Andalusion. It's my Grey Flash, and I can't seem to find a good breed for him. Because I tried Miss Conamara, but I didn't be able to use the reference I wanted to, because I accidentally put it up. So... Yeah. So I don't know what breed I should put him as. So leave a comment below if you know a breed that I can try him as. Because I've tried Conamara. I might try him as a Morgan in my next... No. In my next open show, I'll probably try him as a Morgan. Because the Morgan class is already filled. I already have an idea on who's going. Because I still remember the class list. Because I've been there like three years in a row. Or something like that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just can't figure out a breed for him. So yeah, leave a comment below if you have an idea for a breed. For this beautiful guy. So, yeah. Then, here is my little Texas. He actually is starting to do pretty well. His first show, he did pretty good for me. Um, this is Sado. 
Yes, my awesome little pinto full bread. Yeah. Then my Mariah's boob. Then my Mariah's boob. Um. Alright, if anybody could think of a breed for Mariah's boob besides a Gypsy Banner or a North American Spot Draft, please leave a comment below. I can't think of anything. I might have to try to look it up. Um, but, I mean, it's just for... It's, he's right, He's a nice model. There's nothing really wrong with him except that bent ear, but... Yeah, Karen doesn't want to focus. So, yeah. <laughs> Got really nice eyes. Or eye. No, oh, eyes. This one's detailed brown. That's cool. Um, yeah. So I cannot... Like, the judge that was judging the... Other peer um, draft class didn't really like my reads for these two and him, and she didn't like her color because it's just it's like a pale color because she's a champagne or something like that. I mean, it's my breed's still pretty good for her. It's just I guess she just didn't like the paleness um, to her. And she's not that bad of a model, though. She's really not. <laughs> Either way, I'll get to her later. Then, this horse isn't really my friend's. Or, I'm sorry, this one's not really mine. This is a friend of mine's. Who I showed in the other... Or, um, sorry, in the fact OF factory resin class. He gets this cute little blanket. Um... He actually did pretty good. So he gets that giant space to himself. Just because he's a resin. So he gets special care. Um, my This is my uh, bear. My Elvis Presley's bear. Just, just a pretty model. Um, this is my Color Crazy Rejoice with the white markings. This is my nice little vintage Pam. She's very pretty. She just has a few little cosmetic things like there. A little bit there. But other than that, she's actually pretty good. I mean, she's a nice model. There's nothing really. And then maybe a few little nose ups there. But she's a vintage, so she's of course going to have some, some boo boos, of course. <laughs> This is my rainbow, who at Weldon's I will actually be selling or trading. Um, yeah. This is my Noel, my Coochie, and then my Gofford. His first open show, and he did extremely well for me. Okay, moving on to my little custom square. My nice little mini resin, who I will actually be able to show in October. Because I will be going to that show. It's called Model Horse Expo. It's in Wichita Falls. I will actually be able to show my customs. Um, so here's uh, Strip My Stuff. She's a little custom. I love her. And these two are just minis. Oh, that's many of him. Um, I got him at Weldon's last year. And I got her at Lost Her Live this year. Her eyes and her hooves aren't finished. So uh, I'm going to be finishing them up and showing her. And this is a little ornament thing. <laughs> and a little nice little Pasofino. And this is my ethereal water. My D Desperado, who's actually going to be retiring. So. Well, he'll retire after Model Horse Expo, because I want to try him as a different Arab type. Because apparently he's too chunky to be an Egyptian, even though he looks exactly like that. So, I don't know. You know, I can kind of understand that because Egyptians are more smaller and more petite and kind of more feminine type. Even though even the stallions can be very stallionish, but their body structure pretty much. And then this guy's retiring, but he's also being sold. So yeah, he doesn't just he doesn't really do well as anything. So <laughs> I'm gonna sell him at Weldon's, except he does well at Weldon Weldon's. But that's a youth show, so that doesn't count. So he's he's gonna be gone. It's my custom huck, my T.S. black tie, my nutcracker prints, 
my original Huck, my Polaris, and then my new baby, Napoleon's Marengo. I'm so happy I got him. I traded my glossy Big Chicks cash for him. So I have no more on Smart Chicolina Mold, but it was so worth it for to get him. Because I've been dying to try to find him forever, and I found him. He was originally $30. I traded him. I got him. So I'm like, yay! Alright, this is my Esther's Dream. He'll actually be retiring and being sold at Weldon's. And then my Onyx. Then this square is actually going to be moving to the shelf. And all my classics are going to be moving on that shelf too. And this will just like my other animal and my classics. <laughs> so, yeah, here. Tags being stupid. So I'm gonna try to fix that. Um, eh, stupid bear. Alright, this is my nice little bear cub. What I really don't like is in open shows, you don't really get to show animals. Which really kind of sucks because I think Nan should allow animals, or Namsha should allow animals. To be there to be a other animal class. I mean, I really do think they should. And that this is my new guy. He is a Spanish fighting bull. His breed that I tried showing him as because I forgot that open shows don't allow it is obviously wrong. He has no characteristics of being a Brahma. And his neck is and withers is too thick. His shoulders are unproportional to his hindquarters, so it's obviously totally wrong for an Angus. So, that was just a fail on my part. Plus, I didn't have my cattle breeds note thingy packet. So, but for Weldon's, I will be showing him. And then, of course, I'll find a, a good breed for him. His cattle are a lot different than horses. They have to be very specific. Um, then down here's my Gathering Storm. Uh, and so here's my Cedric, my ideal, who actually will be retiring after Weldon's. He's just gonna retire. And my Gomingo. And my Dungana Gun. My Platinum. Then this random little paint mirror. Yeah, of course, I, at every show I try to sell off my classics, but n nobody really likes classics anymore. They're all for crystals now, which really kind of sucks. It's saying this rosette is not from Lone Star. It's from Independence Nightball for a full. That got it in 2010. So, yeah. I'm coming up over here. This is like my foal and then random horse shelf. Um, so, yes. Over here I have my most amazing classic ever. <laughs> A little Morgan Stallion. Then my Bridge of the World Arabian. And this one is... I have two of them, obviously. It's where I have an, a purebred... I mean, sorry, this is my Appaloosa, that my part Arab. Um, so, my little twins. And this guy, he doesn't really have a name, or an OF original name. And there's this guy. And this here is my nice little vintage filly. A little Morab, family Arabian foal. Then my heartbreaker and my new. Zinyata's Colt, who I love a lot. He is very pretty. And he's got really nice shading. He's actually kind of darker. Like, his shading-wise is not that prominent as in the video shows. But I really wish it would. It was, because it would make him so much gorgeouser or prettier. He's got really nice tattoos. Cute little face. 
What I don't like is on how they're doing things for Zenyatta, but they haven't done really anything for Rachel Alexandra. And yet, Rachel Alexandra's had two folds already, and Zenyatta's only had one. So, I think that's kind of retarded. Rachel was 2009 Horse of the Year, so what if Zenyatta was 2010 Horse of the Year? Rachel was still Horse of the Year. So, I'm done with my ranting for now. <laughs> for now. Um... This is my nice little stone shelf. This is my little chip pony, who was originally a fellow Bella. Now she's just gonna be a grade. Because the other two chips pony was there, was in the with the in the miniature or the mini stone pony class. So yeah, she's now a grade, and they she got the lowest placing out of the three chips ponies. So, yeah, and they were all grades. Alright, I'm actually going to start with this guy, because I actually have a cute little story about him. Um, alright. So, this is his box. It's actually signed my, by Ann Myers and Zip Chocolate Chip. He's actually still alive, because they're still offering up breedings to him, which is really cool. So you see on how he's got a little base snip right there. Do you see a snip? He does not have a snip. At all. Here. And I looked it up on the Stone Reference website. Website, but website, and then it showed a picture of him, face wise. There was a snip. He doesn't have a snip. I think that's kind of cute. I have a little variation. And then he's numbered because there's only 2,500 made of him. His number is actually pretty low. It's 891 out of 2,500. And actually, he is stationed really close to me, so I actually want to take a trip down there one day and go visit him. Um, he was originally from Ohio. Now he's in Valley View, Texas. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get a registered quarter horse mare and breed her to him, even though his breeding fee is originally like $3,000, which is okay. I mean, it's better than some, like the Thorbred. It's better than a Thorbred. Their stud fees are only like $100,000. So I think that's a lot better than that. He's got a nice little banded mane. He's very cute. He does have shiny marks, which is very saddening. Um, yeah. Now this girl, here I'll match with him back up here first. This girl I used to own two years ago, and then I traded her for a new inbox Roxy that had her box signed. So, and she actually does have a really nice record the same day that, because this was at Lost Live two years ago, same day my friend got her. She won first in her class, breed class, and went to get a I believe either a reserve champion or a ch grand champion rosette from the youth show. She is part of the My Horse series. And this was was in 2009. Can't really see that because it's stupid. Um, my camera's stupid, so I love her to death. She still does really well for me because the breed I picked up for her, even two years ago, really, really does fit her very nicely. So I love her to death. I've been missing her for the past two years, so I'm happy I got her back. She only has tiny. I mean, I got her directly from the Stone Warehouse sale back in. Hmm. I guess it's. Let's see if I got her two years ago. I got her in 2010. That's also when I got my little tips pony, which you actually can't see. Oh, you can barely see her. Um, yeah. And, so, she actually still does really well for me. I mean, extremely well. Because of the breed I chose for her. And, of course, I'll never reveal her a breed, because it just fits her so, so good. She got a first place in breed, and, of course, a an Nan card. 
and then a second place in collectability, and of course, an hand card, which is really, really, really awesome. It's just because my mare is just that awesome. I love the police mold. It's actually very pretty. I love it a lot. She's very gorgeous. So I have my nice little stone shelf up here. And of course, my next show I can show my stones at isn't until the October show. Alright, so that's pretty much an update collection tour. Well, except for my minis. They're so packed because I need another shelf. But, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll try to put up a results video as soon as I can. Bye.